prediction uh, as soon as I start recording everybody powers up every single power tool in the shop it's like a war zone in here we're back baby What's up? we're back Rob's back the gang's back we're all back what are we uh, what are we doing all right guys, here's the situation. We got this brand new JL up on the lift, 23 model. Okay, well it's not brand new, it's got some miles on it. And uh, yeah, we're doing a buttload of work to it. We're doing coilover work to it. So these are the coilovers off of Roxanne. So this is Roxanne's wife. Who, Mike Jones? His wife. It's a Jeep and family. It's our favorite kind of family. So essentially what we have done in the past is we've developed a long arm kit to go on the JLs. And so that's exactly what we're doing. We got Grant, that's Grant, and Rob. They got on the computer and beep booped some designs up, cut them out on the plasma table over there, brought them over here to the brake, bent them up, and now Grant's in the process of getting all the bracketry welded on that they designed. Yeah, so we've got our own in-house custom brackets made for a long arm kit. I believe Grant's already got the rear done. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so Grant's already got the rear welded up. And of course you gotta take the gas tank out. We gotta take the rear axle out, which let's talk about that. So this is that new Dana 44 that Jeep won't shut up about. It's got axles that float and you don't gotta pay for them. I, whatever that means. It's technology that's been around for decades, but Jeep's like, oh, it's new. Yeah, Jeep, we've been pulling your axles out for years and putting our own free floats in them. Rob is working on our new Super top secret project we can't tell anybody about. We're trying to figure out how to mass produce some rock rails. And so he's got a jig set up here with the hole saw for this piece. And then he's got this whole jig set up here for the brackets and the bottom piece, which we slug with aluminum, by the way. And uh, yeah, we're trying to make our own, you know, rock rails. See, we got these inserts down here that go in it. I mean, we're getting official, guys, is what I'm, is what I'm trying to say. So that's what Rob and Ludacris are trying to knock out right now, is they're figuring all this out, all the math and science and angles, mathematicianalize the rock rails. <laughs> Yo, Grant has made a mess. <laughs> that that is that is pretty neat. Good on the left, it's kind of okay on the right. Just to weld that on there. Should be good, right? It's just tack. Yeah. Send them home. Just give it a little soon. tacky. We're gonna, so, for those of you who are at home watching and wondering, so this bracket's supposed to go here, uh, but we clearly have a long arm in the way, so um, we're gonna we're gonna build a bracket to come off of this bracket kind of support the back end of it. Try to keep the spread as much as possible. A bracket on a bracket? If you don't have a long arm. It's like a double rainbow. This, this will work perfect for but you. But with brackets. Yeah, there's kind of some rainbows there. So yeah, we're getting close on these steps. Are they steps though? Uh, sliders. You could use that as a step. 
long as it's not wet. So we were gonna do 12 inch ORIs. <laughs> we're so used to ORIs. These coily things are weird. <laughs> These coily things. They're from another planet. <laughs> okay, so we were gonna do 12 inch coilovers, the Evo ones off of Roxanne, but not that we couldn't have made them work, because we could have. It just would have been a lot of work to make the 12 inchers work. Customer decided we're gonna go ahead and go with the 14 inch coilovers. It makes it a lot easier for us. We can mount them in the same location as the shock original mount is just reinforced. Same on the axle side, we can mount it where the shock was just reinforced on the rear. The front, we will have to do a little bit of custom work to make it work. Uh, we're gonna build a custom tower and all that good stuff for it. But for the rear, it makes it a whole lot easier. And we are gonna, I'm pretty sure the coilover springs are getting powder coated to, I don't know, to match something. Red, maybe? Anyway. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where we're at on that. Right now, Grant is working on the axle side mounts to get them ready to weld on. And then the rear will be pretty much finished up. And then we just have to uh, put the bump stops in, get everything painted up, all that good stuff, and then move on to the front, cut all the front stuff off and build towers. Yeah, Grant actually snuck in the bump stop mount yeah. on me. I just came over here and was like, it was 10 minutes ago, these weren't here. So, uh, do we have, we have arms made up for this? Yeah, thing, arms right? are all made where up. Where is that? Where, I don't know where they are. Um, hidden. So they don't get scratched? They're probably over here. Ha <laughs> 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 there they are. They're, they're nice and cozy. And then the uppers are over there. They got back from powder coat last week. They're ready to assemble and put on. So yeah, um, making good progress. Rock rails are getting close. That's been a pretty big chore. Trying to make them repeatable so that when you guys want more of them, all you gotta do is call us up. And we'll uh, boop, 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 boop. And ship them to you. <laughs> I think that's how Ricky does it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Oh, okay. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. So, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. You got anything, Grant? Grant doesn't have anything. Well, we're gonna get back to work, so you can come with us if you want. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> What's up guys? Rob here with Off-Road Addiction and today we are going to take a look at... No. Uh, no. No. You don't need to introduce yourself. Oh, okay. You've already okay. been on it. I've already been here. This so is like, the beginning? 
No, this isn't oh, the beginning. It's not the beginning. Okay. We're like ten minutes into the video. Oh, okay. Now. You've been on it like four times. Oh god, I didn't. This video's this. this video's <laughs> been going on for a while. For okay. a minute. Started off in shorts. That's how long so, it's been. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we were all. It was hot when we started this video. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are wrapping up this build. Uh, we have, or the fabrication part of this build, that is. So we've gotten all the suspension done. Installed the um, off-road addiction long arm bracketry. In-house built aluminum control arms. We are running the King. 14 inch travel, two and a half inch coilovers. We have the springs powder coated red to match uh, the red on the Jeep. Uh, we do still have limiting straps to install. We are also running the King bump stops. Those will still need to be adjusted. Um, this, uh, this is for if you have a trailer hitch. We no longer have a trailer hitch, so. Uh, wow, that just stayed up there, that's pretty cool. Um, so if you come over to this side, you'll notice, you noticed on the other side too, but uh, we've got some OA. <laughs> we also built some OA rock sliders and kick plates. These rock sliders are super, super beefy. So not only are they frame mounted, welded to the frame, we slugged the inside of this lower tube with inch and a half tubing. You may see that in the video or may not, I don't know. Um, but it is slugged with solid aluminum in there. So this thing is not going anywhere. He can take this thing and just you can land on bash it. on it, yeah. and it's not going to hurt anything. So pretty, uh, pretty excited to see those get out and get used. Um, if you come around up front, we continue with the OA long arm, 14-inch um, coilovers up front, custom coilover towers. We're running the King bump stops up front as well. Um, we're going to be running Yeti track bars front and rear. It's going to get an OA aluminum tie rod in or tie rod with uh, the two and a half ton tie rod ends. Um, since we're done up here in the fab shop with it, it's not gonna go to the bolt-on shop and get front bumper installed, PSC installed, some skid plates installed, and a couple other goodies. Um, we are running the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss 37s um, wrapped around the KMC machetes with red beadlock ring to match the red on the Jeep. Kind of a cool co color combo though. Um, we're also doing a couple other goodies like air compressor. I mean, this thing's gonna be ready to go. Um, pretty good looking Jeep. So we're gonna get these tires and wheels mounted up and send it on its way down to the bolt-on shop so we can start on another project. So here we go. trying to do a Kevin Hart impression. All right, folks, here's what we got. Bing, bam, we got the Jeep back up here in the shop we're gonna work on. <laughs> you do kinda sound like it. <laughs> yeah, so Andy was down there at the bolt-on shop, <laughs> working on it. And now it's back up here because we have exactly 48 hours to finish this thing. And uh, you guys ever seen overhauling?
whatever. Do you have a uh, VHS player at home? She wanted to see. I think I do, no. actually. You do? Because I have this VHS tape of the last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Oh, 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 oh wow. I did not see that. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> The wizard. It's gonna update this for us. Uh, customer installed this, but it needed an update, and it was glitching real bad, and wouldn't let me make any adjustments. Wait, so. What is that? Oh, this is a Taser, uh, Taser Z Mini. Z Automotive Taser Mini. It's the cool little uh, kind of replaces the old school programmers. It allows you to go in through the Jeep controls and and make a bunch of changes, tire sizes, gear ratios. LED lights on, LED lights off, um, all kinds of stuff. Get one, play with it, they're fun. Anything Mopar. Um, sorry, if you drive a Ford or Chevy, you're out of luck. Um, Why'd you make that face with a Chevy? Uh, you didn't make it with a Ford, but you made it with a Chevy? <laughs> so we're done with the Jeep, but this Taser is giving us fits. Uh, it's 2.30, customer's gonna be here at three o'clock. We're trying to get this updated, Get get it back in the Jeep, get it reprogrammed, so that when the customer gets here, this thing is ready to go. But as usual, off-road addiction style, we're last minute <laughs> cramming things in. Seven updates behind. Seven updates behind. Well, there's our problem, folks. It's okay, the wizard's gonna fix it. <laughs> it does take a long time. But... Estimated update time, four days. We're at 1%. Oh, good. I'll see you in an hour. Okay, I guess but we'll- uh... have an hour. <laughs> <laughs> How quick that is. <laughs> Seems to be working better already. Yeah. What's up guys? Am I saying welcome back? All right guys, it's done. It is ready to be delivered to the customer and I'm not joking, they're gonna pick it up and go wheel it tomorrow, I think. Maybe the next day, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, it's ready to go. Um, I guess you want to know all about it, um, right? That's what you wanna know? Um, so we'll start the front, Moto Built. You got Moto Built front and rear bumpers, inner fenders. Fender flares, all uh, match powder coat in this texture black. Looks really good on here. We've got a Yeti um, drag link and track bar, and then an off-road addiction tie rod. 
with PSC. So this has kind of got a the new hybrid PSC setup. So it's got a gearbox, keeps the factory pump with the apex. If you've ever heard of that, it, it basically allows that electric pump. We can turn up the pressure um, and then mount a ram to it. So um, not quite the same as a full hydro assist system, but I, uh, I'm anxious to see how that works for them. We flipped the sway bar so that that's up tucked out of the way. We've got 14 inch Evo coilovers with King air bumps on all four corners, PRP limiting straps, of course, off-road addiction long arm with our bracketry all tucked up nice and tight. Uh, OA kick plates, OA rock rails. These rock rails, guys, I'm telling you, if he tears these up, I'm shutting the doors. These are two inch DOM on the bottom, slugged with inch and a half 6061 solid aluminum. The back side of these plating has framing all in this, and then this decorative kick plate on the top of that, so that can be replaced once he scratches it all up. Um, and then obviously inch and three quarter hoop here, um, just to protect everything. They are welded to the frame. We can see those on the other side a little bit better. Terraflex. HD tire carrier. Support that big old 37 back here. Moto belt interfinners on the rear. We've got the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss in the 37 inch tire wrapped around the KMC machetes with paint or powder coated match red rings. King air bumps on the rear again. More PRP limit straps. More off road addiction long arm goodies. Um, if you come down here, you can see these rock rails are welded to the frame. They're not going anywhere. This is not your um, mall crawling setup. This is for this is for real guys. Um, underneath, you can see we've got the Artec full aluminum skid plate system, and it is very nice. I am very impressed with it. We've got Adams drive shafts front and rear, braided stainless steel brake lines all the way around. Man, this thing is like. Legit, ready to rock and roll, and they're gonna go beat on it like they should. I'm not sure how long the uh, stock axles are gonna last, but we'll see. We'll find out. Oh, we did MagnaFlow exhaust on it as well. They don't make that for the 2024 apparently, so we had to do a little custom work there. But hey, that's what we do. Um, what else? We did a uh, rugged radio inside with an antenna, so he can talk to all his buddies, or she can talk to all her buddies. Whoever it is. Yeah. That's where we're at, man. So yeah, so that wraps it up for this thing. We're gonna get this thing pulled outside and we're gonna flex it out so when the customer gets here, because they are on their way to pick it up, when they get when they get here they can see um, how awesome it looks. And don't forget to like, subscribe, make sure the notification bell's turned on so that you know when we post our latest content. Share the heck out of our stuff, man. That that helps us a bunch. Um, and then also if you want me to do this to your Jeep, just give us a call. We'll get you on the schedule. See ya. Oh, and today is Thanksgiving, or when this video uploads, it's Thanksgiving Day. So, what was I supposed to say? <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> oh, today, when this video uploads, now, it's here on, on the tube, it's Thanksgiving. So, from Off-Road Addiction, Happy Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy some time with your family. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Better? Yeah, that's better. <laughs>